This is Omari Hardwick on the set again of none other than the power. And shout out to you, Vibe. Shout out to you, Vibe. And shout out to all of the Vibe viewers and fans out there. We appreciate your time, your patience, and your support. Uh, that New York's ever seen. True. People come here and become whoever they want to be. I play the title character, well, not the title character, but the, the main character, uh, James Go St. Patrick. We are on the set of, in Steiner Studios, of The Club, um, Truth, ironically coined Truth, because James Go St. Patrick is definitely at times not living Truth. Um, oftentimes, more than not, as soon as I came on, they let it be known, he and Courtney Kimpagbo, the show creator, um, they let it be known that their, you know, their choice was me a while ago. What are you going to make? You know, at this point, it's 11 years into the career, and so um, Spike Lee being my first boss in 03, which is crazy. People that are brilliant who've not worked with him, and for me to get the opportunity to work with him first shot, first shot in, um, I guess maybe that training was always underneath the foundation of me as an actor um, outside of the years of Shakespeare and August Wilson and everything else that I learned on stage, just to have Spike sort of say, you know, I think this guy has it. It sort of has run over in all the other characters. And I think 50 just looked at the years of my work and said, I think Omari is nutty enough, <laughs> um, powerful enough, bright enough. You know, Ghost has to be a lot of different things. And so I'm extremely humbled at 50 and Courtney thought that I could carry this cat. What if it can be more than that though, man? You mean we call it JIT? I always go into a character thinking, if it scares me, I can do it. I think at the end of the day, um, I was thirsty for all sides of this guy, for the father in him, um, for the bad in him, for the good in him, for where he could go, uh, where the other characters surrounding me could go. You know, I didn't want to just do a show where my character stood out and other characters were flat or one to two dimensional. I wanted everybody to have meat. I think at the end of the day, because this guy was so colorful and he was living this life where he had to figure out how to be truthful while still telling a lie at the end of the day. I think that's the thing that attracted me most to it, you know, and uh, the drug element, the cheating element. He's having an affair. You know, there's a whole thing. Um, but I like to I like to think he's having an affair with life, you know, not just with a, a woman or not just with the drugs on the side. But he's having this sort of free for all um, with himself and making life a smorgasbord where he can go in and go, I want this today. I want that today and and dress like this doing it, you know, so pretty amazing character and uh like you said he is as tragic as anybody we've ever seen in Shakespeare he is beautifully tragic